Hello everyone this is Dr Akshita Shanba today we will study comparative study of arnica montana as we know the sphere of action of this drug is mainly on the capillaries there is weakening of the walls and this causes extravasation of blood as there is venous stasis from fullness of blood vessels so we see lot of bleeding internally and it is also a very good remedy for injury especially blunt injuries concussions fall overlifting or from heavy work and also used in typhoid fever now we will see the comparative remedies for the typhoid fever and the other conditions so one of the main remedy to compare here with the arnica is baptisia tinctura so we know that arnica montana has sore bruised feeling all over the body they feel as if the bed were too hard there is stupor that is sleepiness or drowsiness from which they can be aroused but fall quickly back into it again they have dark streak running through the tongue there is deep red face the heat in the head and face is seen but other parts are cold this you find in the arnica so in baptisia also you will have the similar symptoms so there is sore bruised feeling stuporous conditions red streak running through the tongue deep red face even in baptisia seen so now what are the differences between these two then so we see in arnica during stuporous condition when you awake them so when they are awakened they answer correctly when awakened and then go back to stupor while in baptisia you find they fall asleep in the middle of the answer they toss about the bed reaching here and there they have a delirium complaining that he cannot get himself together he feels his body is scattered his body parts are scattered so he will be searching them that you find in the baptisia then another difference you find here is in arnica the stool and urine is passed unconsciously there is appearance of sagulations under the skin sagulations are the bruises or ichymosis we can say those are found under the skin there is offensiveness like rotten eggs especially of eructations and flatus the small boils can appear one after the other so this you find in the arnica while in baptisia the stool urine and sweat are extremely offensive there is no particular smell uh, being uh, uh, told here so just it is extremely offensive then next if we compare with the hypertrophy of the heart arnica also has hypertrophy of the heart so what are the other drugs where you can find hypertrophy of heart and how you have to differentiate we will see so first when arnica is seen uh, in hypertrophy of heart it is due to the heavy work so due to heavy work we see there is muscular hypertrophy and this leads to swelling of the hands on exertion there is redness and the heart feels tightly grasped by the hand we have another very good remedy for hypertrophy of heart that is cactus but here you find constriction about the heart but there is no traumatic origin then comes lecesis here also there is hypertrophy of heart with sensitiveness of the peripheries of the nerves so while in arnica there is a difference there is soreness from the fullness of the blood vessels not because of the sensitiveness of the nerves then we have rustox where there is hypertrophy which is rheumatic in origin then arsel arsel also has hypertrophy of heart if the the cause is because of climbing the high places and all now coming to rheumatism so in rheumatism what are the comparative drugs we will see so first is arnica we find in rheumatism it is not inflammatory but it is used for local rheumatism which occurs in winter weather 
and seems often to be the combined effect of exposure to dampness and of cold and strain on the muscles from over exertion and definitely you will find if it is an arnica the sore bruised parts and there is aggravation on motion so this is highlighted in the arnica where there is sore bruised parts now we will see in rustox also there is uh, rheumatism present so here the ligaments of the joints are involved rather than the soft parts and it acts mainly on the fibrous structures so that we need to remember and definitely we know about the modalities also where there is aggravation on the beginning of the movement and better by continuous movements then calendula in rheumatism we will find there is torn and racked bones present they it removes the inflammatory condition of the part and permits of the healthy granulations then coming to the hypericum hypericum we will see when the nerves are injured in rheumatism the nerves will be in, uh, involved in the rheumatism so then in staphis aegria we will find there is a smooth clean cut present in ledum pal we see the injury by pointed instruments or punctured wounds if arnica does not relieve the soreness then ledum pal will do the good then symphytum we will see there is bone involved bone injuries are mainly involved in symphytum orbital plates of the frontal bone and it is also used in irritable stump after amputations irritability of the bone at the point of fracture is seen in the symphytum so when this symptom comes we can compare even calcarea fos and allium sepa also so in calcarea fos we see it is due to the irritability of the point uh, bone at the point of fracture is due to the impaired nutrition while in allium sepa there is violent burning and stinging pains in the stump then there is another difference given in kent uh, between arnica and opium in arnica he says if a person has gone through railroad accident he rouses up at night dreaming of it with fear of sudden death and an expression of terror the horrors they really went through are repeated again and again in the dreams so this is in the arnica while opium also has similar same symptoms with the fear and all but the fear remains even in the day time in the opium while arnica just dreams about it then he also says arnica should be given whenever there is soreness of the injured part with bruises seen so this is the first remedy you have to think whenever there is soreness with bruises after the soreness and bruises are gone if the weakness of tendons with restlessness and aching remains then rustox is followed and after the weakness in tendons and rest uh, restlessness if rustox is not doing good then calcarea carb follows so weakness and tenderness remains in the joints even after rustox then calcarea carb will complete the cure So for these comparisons I have referred E F Arrington Clinical Madra Medica and J T Kent you know, lectures on homeopathic Madra Medica. Thank you everyone.